Welcome back, this is the fourth video on image collection charts. If you haven't watched the intro and part 3 of image collection charts yet I highly suggest to watch those first and then come back here. Image collection charts are basically time series charts. But before that make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Let's roll the intro. Look carefully at this table. These are the image collection charts available on Google Earth Engine at the moment. Let us take a look at the fourth type of chart which is image.series chart. This type of chart display values of bands across the image collection for a single region. Region means shape file of an area, city, province, country or a continent. Please note that it is bands and not band. Let's go to the Earth Engine code editor and practically demonstrate this type of chart. First of all I have loaded the shapefile of Islamabad city from my assets. Next I have loaded 3 years image collection of Sentinel-2 from January 2017 to January 2020. I have filtered just 2 bands out of the image collection. One is the red and other is near infrared band namely band number 4 and 8 of Sentinel-2. Next head to docs and type ui.chart and select the series chart. Paste the code and modify it like so. In the image collection give the Sentinel-2 collection. In the region give shape file of your area. I will not explain the reducer and scale. For that watch this chart's playlist from the start. Since Sentinel-2 MSI has spatial resolution of 10 meters so I will give 10. I will remove the X property as that is non-compulsory argument. If you don't know about compulsory and non-compulsory arguments please watch this tutorial series from the start. By default the X property is the system time start. It means that the chart is being plotted from the first image to last. Next print the chart and run the code. In the console if you see this type of error just don't panic as errors are good. This error means that the memory limit earth engine allocated to display this type of chart has exceeded because of the high resolution of image. There are two possible solutions and I will demonstrate them both. The first solution is that you can filter few bands from the image collection. In my case since I have already filtered two bands I will just select one and then run the code. The second solution is that you keep the number of bands same but increase the scale of reducer. Since Sentinel-2 images have resolution of 10 meters I have increased the scale to 30 meters. But make sure to call the chart as reduced on a scale of 30 meters and not 10. Run the code and you will find that now you have a chart that is plotted on a scale of 30 meters containing both bands. Finally let's quickly calculate the NDVI from the image collection by mapping a function over it. Inside the function I will map NDVI expression over each image. NDVI is the normalized difference vegetation index. Its veil ranges from minus 1 to 1 but from remote sensing perspective the values between 0 and 1 are considered. The expression is NIR minus red. Divided by NIR plus red. You can calculate other normalized indices of different bands using three ways inside Earth Engine. The first is by using normalized difference function, the second is directly performing raster mathematical operation and the final one is the expression way. I have used the expression way. I write the expression in a string and define the variables nir and red which are band number 8 and 4 respectively, I rename the expression and finally I return this expression from function as a band. If I print the variable ndvi you will notice in the console that the image collection now has a new band named ndvi finally print the chart and select the ndvi band in the image collection and give the scale as 10. You will notice that the ndvi fluctuates a lot that is because sentinel 2 has a temporal resolution of about 7 days. This means images are not acquired on daily basis as we saw in case of modus. You can normalize or interpolate the data but that is a topic for later. If you are having any issue please write in comments. Follow me on Twitter link given in description. And make sure to subscribe. See you soon in the next video. Until then stay well. Peace.